Hey guys, my name's Emma, and surprise, my hair is pink now. Uh, I thought to start off a monochrome lookbook, I would go completely pink and include my hair in that. So this outfit has a pink sweater, some light lavender pink jeans, I can't really decide what color they are, a pink striped belt, pink marbled earrings, and even pink socks. So what a great way to start off the lookbook, right? <laughs> As we are going in the rainbow order, red is next, and I feel like this dress speaks for itself. I love the flutter sleeves and the pockets. I mean, who could forget about the pockets? And I paired it with some big chunky silver hoops to sort of balance out the larger voluminous skirt. As you probably know, since most of you have been to kindergarten, Orange is the next color in the rainbow. I chose an, a burnt orange bodycon dress because I don't own any other orange tops or anything that covers the top half of my body that's orange. Um, and then I chose a coral or salmon, I don't know what color it is, peach jean jacket. It's a little tight for me, so I wouldn't wear it out. We are skipping yellow because I only own one yellow t-shirt, so doesn't really work for a whole monochroma outfit. And we are moving on to green. I really like this little green mini skirt because it is such a pretty color and it is super soft and nice and thin for when it gets warmer. I can wear it in the spring and in the summer without being too hot. I feel like blue was the easiest to put together because I just own a lot of blue pants because, you know, blue jeans. But I chose this blue and purple floral flare sleeve top and paired it with my flare bell-bottom jeans. The last color in the rainbow is purple, and honestly, this isn't my favorite outfit in the lookbook. I just feel like it didn't come together the way I wanted it to, but I figured I'd still include it so we could hit that magic number 10. I'm using the same jeans from the pink outfit because, again, I cannot tell what color these are. Next up is not an outfit I'd wear outside my room because I don't have the confidence in myself not to spill something on my clothes. Because white is very difficult to keep clean. Now, I can keep a pair of pants clean and I can keep a sweater clean, but I cannot keep both clean at the same time. So that's why I'm not going to wear this outfit out. But I was going to include it in the video because it is still very cute. We're moving on to gray, and I chose gray because I own a lot of gray in different shades, and I figured I would go again with that drop waist silhouette because I was getting kind of bored of the high-waisted, tucked-in look that I've been doing for years now, honestly. And so I picked this oversized collared shirt and then paired it with a pleated skirt, which is very preppy and very on trend right now, which I like. My next outfit is the exact opposite of a drop waist, and it is an ultimate high-waisted outfit. I pulled this midi skirt up so high that it now goes just below my knees and tied up a oversized t-shirt so it's super cropped, which I wouldn't crop it this short, but I can tie it up this short to give the illusion that I did. Last but not least is the color brown. I used to not really be into brown because my hair was brown, but now my hair's not brown. So I'm not all matchy-matchy, or at least in my head, that's what I thought it was. If you have brown hair, you can totally wear brown. Anyway, those are all the outfits I have for you guys today. Comment down below which one was your favorite. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!